Welcome to Ring of Honor Wrestling's Women's Division Wednesday. I'm Kuna Kay, and today we have a very special singles contest between the Righteous's Vita Von Star and former Women of Honor champion and decorated veteran Sumi Sakai. Every Wednesday, newcomers to ROH, as well as ROH veterans, will have the opportunity to establish themselves and prove that they deserve entry into the tournament field. If those athletes excel, they'll be given a ticket to gold. And today, immediately following the match, Board of Directors member Maria Canellis bennett will give someone the ticket to gold, and we'll get to see who gets that ticket and becomes the first competitor entered into this prestigious tournament. Be sure to stay tuned for that huge announcement. But first, it's Vita Von Star versus Sakai, and that starts right now. This is Ring of Honor, and this is the ROH Women's Division. Welcome everyone to Baltimore, Maryland. This web exclusive, Ian Riccoboni, Caprice Coleman, and Maria Canellis bennett We have a huge women's encounter featuring a debuting star here in Ring of Honor. And of course, Maria, this is, as we build toward the women's tournament, all these women vying to get in. Yeah, they want to be known that they want to be in the tournament. They want the attention of the board of directors. Well, Caprice, this will get your attention. Dutch on the left, Bateman on the right. And there you see our first competitor. And we've already seen her before, but we've never seen her in action. And here's our chance. Let's take it to Bobby Cruz. This is an ROH women's division match, set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Approaching the ring, she is representing the righteous Vina Von Star. And we're so glad you joined us here in Baltimore. Ian, Caprice, Maria, Maria, the women's tournament. So many names trying to get in to be crowned Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Vita Von Star can shock the world here against Sumi. Yes, and this is her first match here in Ring of Honor, but I really don't think nerves come into play with her. I think she is a true performer and she's a performer first. So any way that she can get in front of people, she's excited about it. Well, and Caprice, we found out a little bit before we went on the air, these mysterious figures, whether it's Dutch on the left, that large individual, Bateman, or Vita Von Star. Vita Von Star, a former literal circus performer, Cirque du Soleil, Cirque du Soleil style. Acrobatics. Well, I thought that's what you was referring to when you were talking about the two guys on the outside of the ring. I was stuck on the woman inside the ring. Yeah. Well, take nothing away from her. She will have a huge challenge in front of her here today, facing the first women's champion in Ring of Honor history. Her opponent, wrestling at the Jersey Shore Japan, Sumi Sakai. Sumi Sakai, <laughs> this is a huge return. I love Sumi <laughs> <laughs> And you know what? <laughs> With the health and safety protocols here at Ring of Honor, I couldn't appreciate it more. Our families couldn't. It's helping stop the spread so we can do this safely. This is Sumi's return. And it's a little bit of a different environment than we had about 2,000 people in Baltimore when Sumi last competed. But this is the Sumi that we know. Little stuff like that that nobody else would think of. That, Air that, fives. That, yeah, that, that Air makes fives sense. all around. <laughs> 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 and, and previously, we called her the Ray of Sunshine in the Ring of Honor Women's Division. We're so glad that she will be competing. And oh, Vita Von Star! I don't think she cares about the rules. Irish whip off the ropes. Touch the right. Wow. Hand springs out of it. Off the ropes. Shoulder tackle sends Sumi to the outside. Sumi with that amazing lineage trained by the great Jaguar Yakota, but has made her own Hall of Fame career here in Ring of Honor. Traps Vita. Oh, geez. And she's always had a little bit of a sense of humor that can turn into some mind games. Yeah, but I don't know if, if Vita Von Starr has wanted to, to, to do the sense of humor with because she looks like an opportunist. And that opportunist, once they get the opportunity to hurt you, they're going to continue to hurt you until they get a win. It might help Sumi, though, because she doesn't take it too seriously. Whereas I feel as if uh, Vita is trying to play those mind games and get in her head, but oh! laughing about it. I don't know. That's the Xavier knee that Sumi does in tribute to our departed former world champion. One of our good friends she trained with, Xavier, former Ring of Honor world champion. That's her tribute. And trying to get the crowd behind her. And Sumi is something else. As the Ring of Honor women's champion, had a great reign, great run, defeated Tennille Dashwood. Nice. Oh, look at that, go for the cross yep. arm breaker. 
Yeah, smart move by Von Starr. Had a counter for it into a pinning combination. Just a one count there. Von Starr trying her best to hold. Oh, she's oh, biting her. She's oh, biting. Are you oh. kidding me right now? Uh -uh. Wow. And Sumi, who trains with the Gracies in Philadelphia in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I don't think the Gracies teach a counter for that. No, I, I don't think so at all. Oh, and look at this. Look at, look at, look at Sumi's leg right there. Oh my gosh, she's, she's bleeding. Oh! Mares are down. And look at the poise and the confidence of Vita Von Starr right now. That, that's, that's what I was talking about. Something like that can really throw you off your game, though, too. To be bitten in the ring. Well, that's the type of onslaught that Vita Von Starr has had since the bell had rung. She hit her from behind. She jumped, and she's been doing these things, and that's what I'm talking about. She's, she's an opportunist that is here to hurt you. And look at this Eastern stretch here. Very few wrestlers can do this. It takes an extreme amount of flexibility, and you're seeing it right here. And those fingers locked, putting all the pressure in the world on the jaw and the neck of Sumi. Wow. Sumi forcing her way out of it, but maybe going for the ear. Oh! And she's going to fight dirty. Mm -hmm. I think all those years of traveling with the circus really probably gave her an education on uh, how to deal with different types of people and how to get in their heads. And goes around, waist lock here. Looking for an O'Connor roll, nobody home. Monstar holds onto the ropes, and Sumi sent into the top row. Von Starr is intentionally evil. Like her face expressions, her mannerisms, the way she moves is like, she has bad intentions in everything that she does. Oh, what, what is this? Oh, God, she's biting her again. Oh, no. This is the third time. Bitter in the leg, bitter in the ear, now bitter in the forehead. And we've seen some great women stars here since the relaunch of the Ring of Honor Women's Division, but maybe none as vicious and, and demented as Von Starr going for the cover here. Two. And here's Ooh. the thing, Rikabani, Sumi Sakai is our first woman's champion. Like, she's not just wrestling anybody, she's wrestling a former champion. And having her way with her. Impressive debut thus far. And just the open hands, the clubbing forearms. And Maria, your prognostication was right. No nerves at all from Von Starr. No. She's got Vincent in her head. She's got him telling her all kinds of little stories, I'm sure. And I'm oh. sure that that is the thing that is getting her through this match right now. Yeah. Vincent, the spiritual leader of the righteous. They see the Irish whip, holds onto the wrist, traps it, connects with the forearm. And Sumi, oh, connects with another one, drives her down. Sumi's so staying with what she knows, and trying to stay focused to get the win, not letting the stuff get Look for smash her head. The TJ neckbreaker, there it is, hooks the leg. Two, just a two count there. Sometimes I wonder about a person like Vita. Do they feel pain or do they laugh at it? You have to wonder because she's hanging in there with the former women's champion. Second rope on the inside, Sumi Sakai. Oh, another fake out, another veteran move. Charging in, sit up, missile drop kick. I think Von Starr was trying to close that gap to trap Sumi in, but Sumi was able to move Thank forward. You, everyone. Starr was able you. to block her. And now going to the top, Sumi Sakai, who thrives with crowds. Ooh, forearm connects. Front face lock here. And Sumi, brain buster! Can Sumi make a cover? Hooks the leg! Two! Just a two count there. Shot there to the back. Sumi, there you see it. Vita Von Starr, Sumi Sakai, and it's Ian Caprice Maria on the call. I think these mind games really have affected Sumi in this match. She seems to half step off as if, mm -hmm. as if she's hesitating. And we're going to see Sumi in the corner here. I mean, with that bite on her leg, biting right. her head. 
getting hit from behind, all these different kind of contortionist maneuvers, like, that can really mess with you. And here you see Vita. Look at the strength of Vita wow. Von Star. But that's the power of the women's division, having women from all over come here to Ring of Honor to show what they've got and how they fight, even if it is the way that Vita fights. It's going to be hard to game plan for Vita if she is granted access and entry into the tournament. She's showing that right here. Wow! Wow, that Sir. shows a lot of strength. And, and with Vita Von Star, man, she's fighting her from so many different <laughs> angles. She's fighting her, she's wrestling her, she's biting her, she's clawing her. And using a, a move that the great yeah. Muda popularized here, a Muda lock with this great bridge. Showing that flexibility again. Well, here's the thing, Rick Abana, you have a lot of wrestlers that stick in a certain genre. They're, they're either a brawler or a fighter, and she's all of these in one, and she's extremely flexible. Oh, look at that. I don't know if we caught it on that Muda lock. She turned it into a choke and just on top of her choking her there. Wow. She is a little bit of everything. She's just fighting her. And I don't even see the bruises. Hooks the leg. Two. These, these are dangerous combinations in one person. Two. It's almost as if every time she causes pain, she gets more inspired. She gets more evil. Oh, she was evil when she woke up this morning. I'm <laughs> letting you know that. that that's that's true. not something that just happened. She she woke up yawn like, Ugh. that was her yawn. So I'm and just taunting her now. Former women's champion leads her back up, brings her back to her feet, scoops her up, slams her down. Wow. Michinoku driver. Nice. Two. Just a two there. See the and way those, that's pure instinct, yeah. kicking out of that. I was getting ready to say the way that Sumi kicked out of that was desperation. Mm-hmm. Vita Su has Sumi by the hair. Vita continuing to say, I heard it. I heard you. <laughs> Gut wrench into the power bomb here. Sumi trying to fight out of it. She does it to nice an inside cradle. cradle. One, two, three. Nice. She got her. The winner of this match, Sumi Sakai. And there were moments toward the end of that match, Maria, where Vita Von Starr. Don't turn your back. Oh, God. Come on. And Vita's got to be frustrated. She was on the doorstep of victory. Well, here's the thing. Sumi Sakai kept the game plan of wrestling. She tried to keep her openings and find oh. the victory. But Von Starr what is, this? is wanting what to hurt doing? her. Let go. The match is over. Look at this. Just locking this in. And, and Sumi. Sumi's fading. Yeah. You see, She's the down. oxygen is leaking. There's Dutch. Dutch and Bateman here. I think they're just telling her to come to the back. Yeah, just without, calling her back to Vincent. Without Remember. saying a word, huh? Yeah. It's like, okay, she got we're out. done. We're done. Because I let her out. Sumi or Victor, Vita Von Star, though, <laughs> make a memorable debut here at Baltimore. Wow. And that's all we have for today. So for Mar Maria, Caprice, Ami, and Riccoboni, thanks so much for watching. Happy wrestling, everybody. With the mind games and viciousness that embody the righteous, Maria's gonna have her hands full of dealing with Von Star now that she's an active member of the roster. Speaking of Maria, it's now time to find out just who will be receiving the first ticket to gold for a spot in this summer's tournament to crown an ROH Women's Division Champion. So Maria, it's all yours. My name is Maria Canellas Bennett, and as you know, I'm on the board of directors, and one of my absolute favorite things to do is to give people opportunities and after watching that match and just how well all four girls did someone definitely stuck out to me actually a couple someone stuck out to me but today it's all about Roxy and because she did so well I have a little surprise for her so how about we bring in Roxy right now Hello there. Hello. <laughs> How are you, Roxy? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm good. Very good. I thought that that match that you had, the tag match, um, and partnering with someone like Max, you really stuck out to me in that match. Really? <laughs> and so because of that, I would like to give you a ticket to gold and have you be one of our entrants into the women's tournament. 
Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work. Of course. I think a ring of honor is like a dream. So thank you so much. So who was your trainer and how long have you been training for? Um, so I started training when I was 13. Uh, I started training in Laredo um, under some local wrestlers. Their names are George Benavides and Johnny Angel. And then when I was about 16, uh, I started traveling to Booker T school on um, like Greyhounds. <laughs> I would just hop on Greyhounds and uh, go to Booker T's and I started training there. Um, I've also been trained by Daga. Um, so yeah, I've had a couple of trainers, so uh, it's hard. Gino Melina too. It's really hard to like, you know, give credit to everybody, but yeah. yeah. How was it starting so young in wrestling? Um. It sounds crazy, but I've always been like so, so serious. I wanted to be a wrestler since I was 10 years old. So I was always super serious about it. And I feel like because of my age and because I was surrounded by all these adults, they didn't really take me seriously. They just saw me as like a little girl. Um, but uh, I had to like kind of work my way up to prove to people that just because I'm 13 or regardless of my age, it, it has no like correlation to how much heart I have for wrestling. And now I'm 19 and I'm proving everybody wrong. <laughs> That's why they call you the prodigy, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I might have known a prodigy as well. I don't know if you know this, but my husband used to go by the prodigy. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, awesome. It was great talking to you and congratulations.